out to me after the videos I did last week and um, they they mainly wanted to talk about the Peacock Overdrive pedal uh, you know it's it's been marketed and demoed online as mostly having that Fillmore uh, in a box sound and as you can hear from my videos that's definitely not the tone that I'm chasing and so they, they kind of wanted to know more about what it could do outside of that and so I, th I thought it might be fun to take the weekend and sort of play around with it and use different pedals, you know, that I use when I'm jamming around with jam tracks and uh, just noodle around in the bedroom like everybody does. And as you see here, this is actually my setup with a band that I play with. So this is how it actually gets used every week in rehearsals. And um, before I did this, though, I, I did want to make sure that the pedal that I have is, is what they're selling today. Um, I've had this pedal a little over three years now, and I see the ones being sold today. It, it, it looks different. It's got a different graphic on it. And so I, I reached out to the company and I just asked, you know, hey, you know, has there been any changes made? And I was told that no, what they're selling today, guts wise, is the exact same of what's in this pedal here. The only difference being the graphics. They, they've updated them with the newer ones. Now, I, I was told though, however, since these are, you know, hand built one at a time that, you know, there could possibly be some delays when, when ordering, um, just something to keep in mind, you know, it may be best to kind of reach out to them to see uh, what the availability looks like. Um, now I'm going to be using the same amp as the last videos. This is my Fender Deluxe Reverb Tone Master Series amp. Now, I've decided to put it on my 12 watt setting simply because that's where I use it with rehearsals and I wanted a full clean tone out of the amp. I didn't want any breakup from the amp because I prefer to let the pedals do all of my drive for me when I'm playing with the group. It just gives me better control. I'm going to use a couple of different guitars just to give an idea. And uh, first up is going to be the Music Man Axis, uh, made famous by a certain somebody. So let me know what you think. Thank you. 
next up is going to be my uh, 2009 Paul Reed Smith. And uh, this is kind of like my main guitar for gigging because it covers so much ground with the uh, split coils and everything. And it's got their version of Gibson's PAFs. Um, doing the amp shot here, you know, for people that actually want to see this like you haven't seen it enough. There it is. See, say Tone Master on it right there. Wonderful amp, great pedal platform, great by itself. And um, without a doubt, I could still smell the tubes burning. <laughs> Thank you. 